Hey Brian, how are you going today? Hi Betty. Hey, I've got a funny joke for you. Why do bears have hairy coats? Fur protection. Get it? <laughs> oh. Let's get serious for a minute. Sorry, what can I do for you, Betty? I think I need your help. In our morning meeting, the production manager was talking about leading and lagging measures. I think I know what he means, but I'd like your help if you've got time. Leading and lagging measures are pretty simple to understand, but sometimes very tricky in creating them or working out what they should be. When we track something at our morning meeting, we need a combination of both to give us as much control as we can. Yeah. So when you say control, what do you mean? When a measure is not in our control, it doesn't go the direction we want or achieves the target we're looking for. For example, in your morning meeting, you're measuring achievement to your production plans. Is that right? Yes, that's right. It's an important measure for us. So to have full control over this, we need both leading and lagging measures, or in other words, we need both leading and lagging indicators. Can you explain what the difference is? Sure. A leading measure is a predictive measure. It's proactive or has immediate effect. Can you please give me an example? Sure. Let's take safety for example. A leading measure is measuring the number of identified hazards that have been observed. It's predictive or proactive as we believe identifying hazards will immediately contribute to better safety. Let me get this right. Are you saying that leading measures are those that are stronger contributors? Yeah, Betty, you're so right. Well then, all our measures should be leading. Whoa, <laughs> not so fast. Our primary measure should always be an outcome. That's why it's a lagging measure, because it's already occurred. Take our measure of safety, for example. We must measure the output, which might be the number of injuries that occurred yesterday. Okay, I think I'm starting to understand. The first measure is our lagging measure since it's telling us where we are in comparison to the target. It's an outcome of what's already happened. Excellent, Betty. But we also need our leading measures as they show us what we're doing now that has maximum contribution. Spot on. So we need both. Let's go over to the production board and I'll explain the concepts a little bit more. This is the production board you're talking about. Is that right, Betty? Yes, that's right. This is where we have our daily operation review around this board. This shows a combination of leading and lagging measures. The top line measures on the board are the primary measures because they're outcomes. Let's take delivery, for example. What you're measuring here as a primary metric is delivery performance. We measure die fought or the achievement of delivering to the customer what they want when they want it. We discuss this result in our meeting. Now, but Betty, that's an outcome as it's measuring what's already happened. Now without a leading measure, our die fault will never improve. So let me get this right. Our primary measure will always be a lagging measure because it's an outcome, but the others should be leading measures in order to be more effective. That's right. The lagging measure is always the easiest one, while the leading measure might be more difficult to select. I see here for delivery, you've chosen die fight as your primary measure, and the subsequent leading measures are listed underneath. Your first leading measure is trucks arriving on time to be loaded. This is because we believe, in order to get our deliveries out on time, we need to have the trucks arrive into our depot on time. That's an excellent leading measure. As part of delivery performance, we're also measuring the time the truck departs our depot. Well done, another great leading measure. This is because of an improvement activity we did earlier this year. We found in order to get our deliveries on time to our city customers, our city trucks have to depart before 2 p.m. Hey, another great example of a leading measure and one which has a direct effect on die fight and that's come from an improvement activity. So Brian, let me summarize all this to see if I've got it right. The primary measure shown on top of our board that we're tracking should reflect the outcome. So it's a lagging measure, because it's already happened. The subsequent or secondary measures 
are inputs to the primary measure, they're leading and contributing to the primary measure, so a combination of both leading and lagging measures, are critically important, without both, we won't experience success. Well Betty, I think you've got that nailed. That's excellent Brian, once again thanks for your time today, you've really been a great help. Thanks Betty, see you later.